What's up guys, Physical Media Man back here again for another Physical Media Man Monday video. Um, we are taking part, I got my wife here with me, um, taking part in Tim Talks Talkies uh, Top 25 of the 80s Community Challenge. He did one of these for the 90s and I had a lot of fun um, putting that together. This list was probably equally as hard to come up with as the 90s list. There's some really movies I like a lot that I ended up having to leave off so um, I'll probably talk about a few of those once I go through the whole list and everything and you don't know um, really what I have on here so um, it'll be a surprise to you too but I think you've seen probably all of them so we've watched a lot of them together too so um, but before I get started make sure to like subscribe comment leave feedback do all that good stuff down below I'll leave the links to my Instagram page my physical media man store Instagram page my Facebook page for the Physical Media Man slash Physical Media Man store. My Facebook page for non meter related items, the HodgePodge Garage. My email, my eBay, my Twitter, and my Letterboxd account. Uh, so thanks again, Tim, um, for doing this again. Uh, we actually watched the video together too, the, the, the live stream where, because um, after you have to have the video done by a certain time and then he puts them all together and uh, they all get scores based on everybody's rankings and then he puts a, together a live stream and shows what everything actually got um, based on everybody's submissions so and we had a lot yeah, of fun. the 90s was really cool he did yeah. some cool like intros and it was all it's just all very 90s theme we loved it it was great yep so um yeah so here we go um, so coming in at 25 um this was one that i really wanted to have on the list there's some movies that um I left off in order to get this on there, um, but this is probably my favorite Criterion um, first time watch until we bought it. Um, we got Something Wild with Jeff Daniels and uh, Melanie Griffith, I think, yeah, um, and it's at a, a Jonathan Demme film. I don't know if you remember I do, one. actually, yes. And the, the music's great in it. It's just, just kind of a different movie that I really enjoyed. Um, so this is coming in at 25. Very 80s. Yeah, <laughs> like, for sure. Melanie Griffith, you know, says it was good. Um, so next up, I actually had this off my list to begin with um, and had to live and die in L.A., um, but we're putting at 24... The Empire Strikes Back from the Star Wars uh, original trilogy. I watched these a lot growing up, especially A New Hope, um, which would have been 70s, I believe. Um, yeah, 77. Uh, but I really liked Empire as well, so... Um, now, I watched this way more probably than he did. My brother was a huge Star Wars fan, so I would have put this way higher on my list, but it's on there. I'm glad. <laughs> it's on there, yep. Yeah, I just felt wrong leaving it off, so... Um, Next up, we got Michael Keaton and Beetlejuice. Uh, just a classic. Um, so many great scenes in this one, and uh, good music is the, in this one as well. Um, just iconic. I think they had a music video after the or something. I used to watch this a lot. Like, this, yeah. is a, this is a frequent watch at our house as well when I was growing up as a kid. Yeah, I knew you were a fan of that one. Yeah. All right, coming in at 22, we got the original Beverly Hills Cop. Um, we watched all of these, and all of them are good, but um, had to have some Eddie Murphy on there because um, he was such a huge star, especially in the 80s. Um, he had to make the list somewhere. Um, I had a little bit of trouble picking between this and 48 Hours, which we watched too with Nick Nolte, mm. um, but I, th I just like his character more in this one, and um, I just enjoy this movie a little bit better personally, but... Definitely um, love, definitely love this one. Yeah. The first one, you know, the best. I don't really like the sequels, but that's kind of how it goes. All right. <laughs> Next up, uh, we got some Tom Hanks. Um, this one I, I'm a big fan of too. Um, this is the Shout Select um, edition. So um, basically, Tom Hanks is in a suburb, and uh, I think he was—he's just home for work for some reason, or takes a vac mini vacation and stays home. Um, but he basically neighborhood watches it, and uh, <laughs> his uh, there he's got some weird neighbors that um, some crazy 
doesn't know what they're doing and kind of just watches them the whole time and some stuff happens and this is very 80s too and just a, a lot of fun i sometimes call you <laughs> this all the time at our house he's our neighborhood watch <laughs> what's going on let me look at the window <laughs> that's exactly what he's doing like the whole movie but it's good it's hilarious tom makes it so good all right here we got some more comedy in fast times at ridgemont high uh, a great coming of age um high school movie um, that we watched. I, we haven't watched this since I bought the Criterion. I think we watched the Blu-ray I had um, like right when this got released. And uh, it, it was even better, I feel like, on a second or third time viewing than what I had remembered. Uh, Forrest Whitaker's also in it. Of course, Sean Penn plays um, Piscoli. Yeah. yeah. Um, just an iconic... Uh, character. Yeah, you seem to re- enjoy it more than... I mean, I enjoyed it too, for sure, but yeah, it was like your second or third time watch, and mm-hmm. yeah, not yeah. much more. All right. Caught, so, more, caught more things, yeah, maybe. So that's number 20. Uh, on to number 19. I don't know. Have you seen this? We got Al Pacino and Scarface. Never watched It's a guy movie. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I ended up keeping this DVD. Um, this is a, a two-disc special edition. Um, I remember, I think the first time I watched this, Craig, um, who we have hung out with a few times here recently, um, one of my childhood friends, him and I watched this. And uh, there's a, um, a TV version on here that's hilarious. So there's a lot of cussing in this movie. It's very violent and a lot of language. And uh, so like what they do with the TV version is hilarious because they have to get rid of all the cussing. Um, so a lot of it doesn't make sense <laughs> just because they're trying to say something different. But um, uh, just uh, another iconic film, another iconic character uh, directed by Brian De Palma. Um, Al Pacino's great in it. So yeah, I decided to include that one. Um, so you haven't watched it, right? No, have not okay. watched it. We'll have to watch that sometime. It. Yeah, I'd like to watch it. I think I'd enjoy it. Just Okay, next up we got The Karate Kid. Um, I don't feel like there were, I think there's quite a bit of sports movies in the 80s, but um, the 90s, uh, I had more trouble leaving some of them off. I left quite a few off here in the 80s as well, but um, had to include Karate Kid. Um, we're big fans of Cobra Kai, too. Just the characters are so great. Um, Very nostalgic. Yeah, for sure. Um, and yeah, we need to rewatch this again now. Yeah. I don't think we've watched it since we watched Cobra Kai. Mm-mm. No, it's so. really great. That was the movie I always watched uh, um, multiple times with my friend Paige. Like, we yeah. just watched it at her house. I don't know. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> yeah, classic. All right, number 17. Uh, we got a sealed VHS copy from my childhood. Um, it looks like it was part of a McDonald's promotion. <laughs> uh, Kevin Costner in Field of Dreams. So this was one, so back-to-back sports movies, I guess. Yeah. Um, and I had trouble deciding between this and Bull Durham because mm. I really like Bull Durham, Durham, blah, Bull Durham as well. Um, but we watched this not too long ago. Um, it's still really good, and I just felt like it was the one to go with. Yeah, I think it's definitely better. I mean, Bull Durham's great, but Costner and Field of Dreams, yeah. We got to go see that. We got to go to Iowa. Yep. Friend of the show, Cody, just went not too long ago, so. All right. Um, Next up, we got some rom-com. This would probably be top five on my rom-com list if I ever Mm -hmm. made one, I would say. Um, And we this was a first time watch when we watched it in the last couple of years, probably. Oh, it's been like three or four. Really? Four or five. Yeah, it's been a while. Okay. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, we got we Billy, watched so many. Movies. Yeah. We got Billy Crystal and Meg Ryan and When Harry Met Sally. Kind of crazy. It was our first time watch, but it was so good. I mean, you hear about it, you know about it, but you never yeah, watched it all the way that, through. Yeah, especially that scene, but I'd never yeah. uh, seen any of it, and I just thought it was great. Um, I love And Meg I, Ryan I went too. through and watched, like, all of the uh, bonus features on this, too, because I liked it so much. So, um, yeah. So that's number 16. Number 15, we got another sports movie. Uh, my, my favorite basketball movie. Um, gone to some filming locations for this. We got Hoosiers with Gene Hackman. Um, and Living in Indiana has, has to make the list. Um, I looked up uh, Breaking Away, mm. and I think it was 70s. Um, so that's another sports movie filmed in Indiana. Um, but 
basketball's so important here, and especially back then with uh, one class basketball and how much uh, fans got into it then, um, really wanted to include this on the list. It's just classic. So good. Um, next up, we got RoboCop. Another one we've gone to a filming location yeah. for. Detroit? Uh, no. It's uh, set in Detroit. We, we went to oh. that uh, location oh, in yeah, Dallas, that's right. um, the, that's right. where the police headquarters was yes. or whatever is actually in Dallas. I forgot. Um, and I think a lot of it's actually filmed in Dallas. Um, but yeah, this is the Criterion Collection DVD. Um, I haven't watched the this actual version. We have a Blu-ray set with the three of them, but I wanted to show this off. Just a great 80s movie that uh, uh, really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Schwarzenegger. No. Oh. <laughs> Who is it? Uh, Peter Weller plays oh, Robocop. Maybe I'm thinking of Nancy Allen's in it. Okay. I've got I'm confused myself. Okay. <laughs> He's the cop that gets yeah, I remember. injured yes. or dies That's almost right. or whatever. And they bring him back and, as, yeah, a as a Robocop. Robot. Okay. That's right. <laughs> uh, number thirteen, we got Ghostbusters. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. with Murray Aykroyd, Sigourney Weaver, Harold Ramis, Ernie Hudson, Rick Moranis, and also is an Ivan Reitman film. Um, just classic. Um, had to include this. I, I did leave off, spoiler I guess somewhat, uh, Blues Brothers, which was really hard to do. Um, but I went with Ghostbusters. I just really enjoy that one. Um, Number 10, did I not? Oh, I grabbed that. Mm -hmm. there it oh, is. no, number 12, 12. sorry. Mm -hmm. Another coming of age film, another one I haven't watched in a long time. Have you yeah, seen I this? haven't watched it in a long time. I've, I've seen um, it, yes, but. So we got Stand By Me, a great cast, great coming of age story, so I um, want to include this. We'll have to revisit this sometime. Yeah, uh, I have pages, yeah. one of Paige's favorites. Yeah, uh, friend of the Different. show, Jake's uh, favorite movie, or that's the go. one he answers with always. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it right, is really true. hard to you get put on the spot. That's his answer, that's right. which is smart. I, yeah. Um, okay, moving on, number 11. Um, so another one, some that I had trouble leaving off, but I had to include this one. We got a couple John Hughes. Um, this one is Matthew Broderick and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Just yeah. classic. Yeah. We rewatch that all the time, too. <laughs> That's great. All right. Number 10, we got the original Batman, which barely makes it because it, it was uh, 89. Or, yeah, 89. So, um, now, this, this is the Batman I always knew. Yeah, same. Right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I watched Batman Forever a lot, too, but uh, I would still consider Keaton my Batman, but, um, and I probably, like I said, I probably watched Batman Forever more, but I watched this a ton, too. Um, music by Prince, uh, Keaton's great, uh, Jack Nicholson okay. as, as the Joker is... Now, this is probably my dad's favorite movie. Yeah? Because he loves Nicholson as, as, as the Joker. He just, okay. yeah. Uh, Fun enough. fact. Yeah, right. <laughs> Fun fact about Frank. <laughs> all right. Coming in at number nine. You were asking about this. This was about the only one we talked about before uh, before filming here. But um, we got Dirty Dancing. Another one we've gone to the filming locations for. Just a, a great movie. Um, uh, yeah, filming locations play a big part of it. Um, so we had a lot of fun staying where they stay in the film. Um, great music. There's I've mentioned this before that uh, movies that made us on Netflix. That episode on this, it's crazy that all the things that went into making this movie and how it just luckily ended up being as yeah, great. Very as it low was. budgeted. Low right? budget. Uh, no names on the or the no name on the the song. Mm -hmm. the, the famous song. They weren't really popular at the time or anything um so yeah yeah it's great multiple watch for me as a kid <laughs> oh, all the time it's always on tv always watch it it's like i can't right. not <laughs> coming at number seven we got the untouchables another brian de palma film great cast costner um andy garcia robert de niro sean connery um you know a little history here i th I, th I think we might have watched it in the history class that i watched a lot of movies in in high school i not sure, but I watched this one quite a bit, and 
It's really good. So never seen it. Never seen it? Nope. We'll have to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> um next up. Oh. Oops. Okay, so we had uh <laughs> we missed one here. We had Batman at number um ten and we missed Breakfast Club at number nine. So sorry, Tim, if you've already <laughs> written, written stuff down and everything. Um, but this is the other John Hughes one I had to include. Um, really enjoy this one. I just think it's a great... Great music in this, too. Yeah. All the 80s music, yeah. though. I just love it. So do your, ta- do your thing okay, for so again, here. So. so here we got... Ten, Batman's ten at, ten. at Yeah, Batman at 10, Breakfast Club at 9, Dirty Dancing at 8, Untouchables at 7. Um, all right. At six, we have Top Gun. We're right on. Right. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We got Top Gun at six. This is my childhood uh, VHS tape. I watched this movie so much. Another one with an amazing soundtrack. Mm-hmm. Um, lots of fun scenes and uh, just a really fun movie. Like I said, Tom Cruise has not aged from then <laughs> until now. Yeah, it's I had to have some Tom. I had to have some Tom Cruise on the list too. I did leave off Risky Business, which was another one Ooh, that was that's hard. hard too. Yeah, really hard to leave off. So, um, all right, coming in at number five, we got Die Hard, which Jones you had, you had never seen. <laughs> we watched it at Christmas. Yeah, this was probably ten years ago. Yeah, that we watched it. I really need to upgrade. We just have the DVDs. Um, but just a really another iconic character in film and um, great villain in Alan Rickman. He kills it. Um, John McTiernan directed. Just a, a great action movie. Yeah, it's great action. All right. Coming in at number four, we got Michael Douglas, Charlie Sheen, Daryl mm-hmm. Hannah, and Oliver Stone's Wall Street. Um, I really like this movie. Mm-hmm. You watched it? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Um, it's been a while. But yeah, just kind of like a somewhat similar in a way to Wolf of Wall Street. Mm-hmm. Um, and just a really enjoyable watch. All right, coming in at number three, we got... Now this is a great... <laughs> the Goonies. Uh, had to have this on the list for sure. Um, just a, so rewatchable. Um Clearly, I watched a lot of 80s movies at Paige's house because I'm like, all I can think about is Paige and all these. <laughs> uh, directed by Richard Donner. Um, screenplay by Chris Columbus. Story by Steven Spielberg. Um, just just so much fun. Mm-hmm. So I don't really need to say too much more, I don't think. Um, and this is where I had trouble with the last couple. Um, coming in at number two, I went with Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, Indiana Jones. Just so fun. We just went to um, the new one. And so that was part of the problem, too. I left off the other one that came out in the 80s. Oh. Which was hard to do, which was Temple of Doom, I think. I didn't want to. Which one was first? This was first. Yeah. Raiders is first. I thought so. so. Okay. Um, And I think I watched this one more, so I just went with it. Um, It is my favorite, I think. We watched Raiders way more. My brother and I. That was was a household favorite as well Another. we could find a movie that both my brother and i watched that's <laughs> what. yeah i think i marked it off i'm pretty sure that was the one the other one um and then coming in at number one we got back to the future um with michael j fox and christopher lloyd um just a another really fun movie directed by zemeckis um so rewatchable so great yeah. characters um the car is great. Um, just a great 80s movie. <laughs> so that is everything on the top 25 lists. I loved it. It was okay, a great good. list. I left off, um, so like some of the ones we had already said, um, I left off Caddyshack, Bull Durham, Blues Brothers, Risky Business. Um, those were some of the main ones I had trouble leaving off. Raging Bull, Big, Do the Right Thing. Blowout, E.T. Oh, E.T. Gremlins. Ooh, yeah, Gremlins I might have had to put E.T. that on my the, list. We were, watched uh, Gremlins a lot, though. See, again, okay. they're like guy movie that I enjoyed, too, so my brother watched it a lot, and I'm like, well, I'll watch it, too. Uh, the original Terminator. Oh, Terminator. Raising Arizona. See, I think that's where I got, I think I was thinking was Terminator Robocop. with Robocop. I was like, I'm surprised you didn't have it, just because of 
Schwarzenegger. Yeah. But anyway. Christmas Story. Oh, yeah. Predator. That's hard. That's hard to do. Good job. (laughs) Thanks. All right. Well, thanks again, Tim, for putting this together and all the work you put into it. So, um, and including all of the community. So, um, if you're another YouTuber and you want to put one together, just uh, let him know. Or I I think there's a couple ways he would be able to see it. So, um, anyways, hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't yet done so, please make sure to subscribe. This is Physical Media Man signing off. Physical Media will never die. Physical media man, physical media man, physical media man.